welcome back once again today as it is now December I thought it is appropriate to get in the spirit of Christmas so I've applied a base and I'm just gonna get creative with a little bit more of the makeup side but it's not gonna be just beauty makeup if that makes any sense so I don't really have a full plan in mind I know roughly what I want to do with the eyes and kind of want to know what I want to do with the lips but I don't really know how it's all going to come together so this is just going to be fun we're going to see how we go could be an absolute flop but with that said let's just get straight on into it i'm going to start with the eyes first just because i always start with the eyes and i feel like if they at least go right hopefully the rest of the video will so for the eyes i'm going to be using the bys rebel palette i really just want kind of a nice dark slightly red smoky eye but really quite dark and intense in the center and just quite vibrantly red on the outside. Whether it actually turns out like that is another story. So I will zoom you guys in nice and close to my eyes so you can see what is going on. I didn't see the point of doing an informal, informative, not informal, voiceover for this as you can pretty much see what's happening in the little clip. But I just thought I'd check in. How was everyone's Halloween? Did you all have fun? It's been a hot minute since I've seen you guys. Is everyone pumped for Christmas though? That's the real point because I am friggin' so excited and it's sneaking up real fast and I'm a little bit scared because I feel like I haven't got the presents and I haven't got enough time to get the presents. But other than that, I'm pretty goddamn pumped for it. What's everyone doing for Christmas? You got plans? Let me know down below. Now I do want quite a sharp kind of edge to it. So I am just gonna clean up the edges with a little bit of micellar water. But of course you could leave it this shape if you wanted to. I just much prefer that sharp line when it comes to really dramatic eyes. So now I'm gonna go in and try something that I haven't tried before and it is putting this lipstick on my eyes. So this is the Jeffree Star Poinsettia. Don't hold me for that. And it's this beautiful glittery red. I'm hoping that if I kind of put that on my lid, it'll make it look beautiful. So fingers crossed. Also, what's everyone wanting for Christmas? That's the next big thing. I really want the James Charles Morphe collab, but I don't think it's gonna be restocked before Christmas. No. Okay, so I feel like it's just not quite as shimmery as I was hoping it would be. So, I'm gonna take this color here, Fearless, from the Rebel palette, which is a really nice pearl essence that kind of has this pink shift to it. So hopefully if I just pop that right in the center, might be okay. Okay, so I do like that it's brought it out just that little bit more. Not too crazy, but crazy enough. So I think I want to put a little bit of that really dark red on my waterline as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of that fearless just in the, the corner of my eye and up on the arch of my brow. Now this is where this eye look could go terribly, terribly wrong. I want to put this green lipstick as a winged liner. Now at the best of times I'm not great at winged liners so this could be an absolute nightmare. I'm not gonna put it off any longer though I'm gonna zoom this in and just go for it. So my camera just cut out but I've done one layer but I feel like it's a little bit too dark so I've just mixed a little bit of the yellow lipstick with a little bit of the green lipstick and I'm going over it again to try and lighten it. I'll get you thin clothes. I will admit when doing this as well guys I found that it was reasonably hard to not get the eyeliner to end up patchy probably if i let the layers dry in between doing it it might have worked a little bit better but i'm just putting that out there because i did struggle a little bit with it and then i'm just going to pop on some lashes and the eye look should be pretty much complete i don't think i want to add too much more to it i'll put the lashes on and then decide okay so next up is probably something that's been done a million times I wanted to do candy cane lips because I've never done it before. And I actually feel like it'll be a lot harder than I think it is. So I'm gonna use the same lipstick that I put on my eyes and I'm just gonna apply that all over first. And then hopefully go in with the NYX white liner. Sorry, my eyelashes were not dry yet and the glue just got on my eye. And try and draw in the stripes. So fingers crossed that works. Otherwise we might be in a little bit of trouble. Actually, scratch that. I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. Mainly because I'm going to be talking and I'm afraid that my lips are going to crack with the white liner on them. So going in with the dip brow. So there is the brows. They are a pretty easy, straightforward thing. They do not take me very long at all. But I also don't make them exactly the same. So I think I want to do also the very 
untraditional thing that I've seen done a million times and that is put a little Santa's hat on this side and then I might put a Christmas tree on the top of this brown. We'll see how we go. Okay, scratch that idea. I want to put two little bushels of holly at the top of like the arch of both of my brows. I think I want the same on both eyes. I don't want two trees or two hats. Sorry, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and hopefully that works. So I'm just taking that green lipstick once again and I'm just going in and with a tiny little brush going to try and draw some holly leaves. If you guys have never drawn holly leaves before, I highly recommend having a little bit of practice before you do it on the top of your eyebrow because they're a little bit tricky to get the hang of, you've got to get the curves going the right way and they can easily turn into an absolute hot mess if you're not careful. But just take your time, get the finest brush that you possibly can and then do the outline and slowly fill it in. Now I didn't show this but I did actually go over with a really fine black liner afterwards and just outlined everything as well as a white liner just to really gently highlight. So there are the two little bits of holly. Obviously this one is about a million times better than this one because there's something that I'm trying to draw on this side of my face with this hand that just doesn't seem to work as well. So just pay a little bit less of attention to that one and more to this one which I'll zoom you in so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh such Christmas, much wow. Now I do not claim to be a very talented drawer. Drawer? Is that a word? Drawer. I think it is, but it just sounds weird at this moment. So they're not perfect, but I think you can tell what I'm trying to get up with that. I think you can tell it's Holly. Now onto the lips. So I'm gonna use this little adorable bread that came in at the Jeffree Stars Equality Vault. I'm gonna call it a vault. I don't know what it technically is. I don't know if I do want to do candy cane anymore. I'm gonna put the red lip on and then see where my creativity goes. I'm thinking maybe I want to do more like a Christmas sweater pattern on maybe my top lip. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go top or bottom. I'm a little bit scared, I'm not going to lie. Some little white love hearts, maybe a line, and maybe some little white trees. Let's see how this goes. I am a little bit scared. Okay, slight disclaimer, I am terrible at filming. Just please don't hate on me. I do miss out on the part where I draw in the trees, but I do promise I did draw them. And I also don't draw love hearts, I draw dots because I realised my skill level is not as good as I thought it was. So, we're just going to have to deal with that. But thank you for your patience once again, guys. So I'm tempted to put a little bit of the Ponsetta on the bottom lip, just even a little bit of shimmer. I nearly just put my lips together, that would have been terrible. Okay, so this is the finished little creativity bit that I had going on. I just felt like getting in the Christmas spirit, but I didn't want to do a main video that I do have coming for you guys very, very shortly. I have three more character fun makeups in a store for you guys in the month of December. I also have a video that's a little bit different than what I've done before. So I do hope that you guys do enjoy the videos that I do have coming for you this December. Thank you so much for joining me on this little Christmas creativity ramble. I feel like I do look like a reasonably hot mess right now. So please excuse the shambles of everything that's going on. This is a pretty decent look if you are wanting something just a little bit festive. I mean, probably not all together, it is pretty full on. But if you were wanting just to add a little bit of festivity to your look, you could of course just put one little bit of holly above your brow. Having two I think looks a little bit crazy, but I felt weird not having two for this look. Or just putting something as simple as a little bit of a green eyeliner on instead, just to get into the Christmas spirit. But thank you again, guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button wherever it may be hiding. And I will see you very soon. Bye!